Do you know what the number 618 means that appears several times in Gravity Falls? Did you know that a very fast creature appears in one frame of the opening? And I'm going to tell you what it is. So stay with me in this video, because another Cine Lovers is starting, your channel for movies, animations, and films. I love this show so much, and besides the curiosities, I'll tell you why it's so good and whether we'll have a third season or not. Gravity Falls is a Disney Disney animated series created by Alex Hirsch, telling the story of twin siblings Dipper and Mabel Pines, who spend the summer with their grunkle stand in Gravity Falls, a mysterious town in Oregon. And mysterious is the right word for it. In each episode, they discover something new about the town and get involved in exciting and dangerous adventures while trying to unravel the secrets of Gravity Falls. First curiosity, I don't know if you've noticed, but at several moments in the show and in several scenes, the number 618 appears. This number is a reference to the birth date of the series creator, Alex, and his sister, Ariel, who are twins. Their birthday is June 18, hence 618. And as I said, Alex has a twin sister named Ariel, and she served as inspiration for the creation of Mabel, and Alex himself as Dipper. Many of the series stories are about trips they took together as children. The show is full of mysterious messages and many with codes to be deciphered throughout the episodes. Absolutely incredible! If you pause quickly in this opening scene, you'll be able to see this furry creature. I think it could be Bigfoot, especially since two footprints are shown before this scene. I think it should be the smaller one. Maybe it's Bigfoot's child. Gravity Falls premiered in 2012 and ran until 2016 with new episodes, totaling 41 episodes across two seasons. Alex, the show's creator, appeared several times during the episodes, like in these scenes for example. And still talking about him, Alex is the original voice of the characters, Old Man McGucket. I'm Old Man McGucket! Jeff. Is this weird? Is this too weird? Do you need to sit down? Bill Cipher. Reality is an illusion, the universe is a hologram, bye gold, bye! Zeus. What's going on, dudes? I say dudes a lot, dudes. And also, Stan. That's right. Right up to the mystery shack, folks. Most of the characters were inspired by real people. Dipper by himself. Abel by his twin sister, Ariel, as I mentioned. Zeus by a friend who studied with him named Jesus Chambro. And Stan by his grandfather. Oh, and also Waddles, Mabel's pet pig, has an interesting story, too. When Alex's sister, Ariel, was a child, she really wanted a pet pig. So in the show, Mabel, who was inspired by her, <gasps> he said Mabel, got one. Oh, and at the end of the video, I'll tell you one more curiosity that will blow your mind. Dipper's real name, a lot of people don't know it. But first, why is this show so good? What makes us like Gravity Falls so much? Well, first of all, the story is engaging. The series has a complex plot with mysteries and conspiracy theories that are unreal throughout the episodes. This makes the story very interesting and keeps the audience highly engaged. Another thing, we're used to cartoons that have several episodes and are standalone episodes, each with a beginning, middle, and end, and with an overall connection between them. Gravity Falls, on the other hand, mixed animated series in the form of a sequential series, which made fans pay more attention. Charismatic characters. The characters in Gravity Falls are unique. We identify with them, each with their own quirks and different personalities. This makes the audience attached to them and worry about what might happen to them throughout the plot. Plus, they're very funny. I like them all, but my favorite is Stan. And yours? Write it down below. Smart humor. The show has smart and often ironic humor, which appeals to both children and adults. In addition, it has references in Easter eggs, which I showed at the beginning of the video. If there are references in Easter eggs, you can bet that the chances of the cartoon, movie, or series being successful are high. That's a very positive point that Pixar started strong, then Marvel, and now almost everyone does it. That's great! Animation and soundtrack. The animation of the show is of high quality. It's a pleasure to watch, and the soundtrack is very good. That mysterious tone... and even in the opening song there are hints on how to solve those codes I mentioned.
and the whole series also gets you involved for the final battle against Bill. It's a really crazy thing. It keeps you focused on every scene. And it's also cool to talk about Gideon, a guy who messes up everyone's lives in the town and who is also a very well-built and very important character for the story. And about the third season? Practically everyone asks Alex and Disney to produce it. Alex said he preferred to end it in the second season because he was at the peak of his creativity and the show ends in an incredible way. And he decided to do it this way because otherwise a third season would only have weak episodes and Gravity Falls would gradually be forgotten. He knew when to stop. There are series that I don't even know which season are getting worse in the level of the story, of the quality, and they keep on doing it, not knowing when to stop. But even so, Alex said that someday, who knows, we may have a third season of Gravity Falls. He didn't completely close the doors to the possibility of this happening in the future. Do you want the third season, or are you okay with just two? Leave it in the comments. Now another revelation about Gravity Falls, Dipper Pines' real name. In episode 7 of the first season where Dipper has several clones, in one scene he shows his birthmark to Wendy, which looks like the Ursa Major constellation. So because of bullying, as he and Wendy themselves say they suffered, he got the nickname Dipper. But what is his real name then? In book 3, which is on sale in bookstores, on one of the pages Dipper's name appears, which is actually Mason Pines. That's the real name, and it's quite similar to the name of his twin sister, Mason and Mabel. For all these reasons and many others, Gravity Falls is considered an incredible cartoon and is much loved by fans. And I'm going to watch it again. Now you can click on these videos and continue in the animation universe. Thank you very much for watching this video. We'll see you in the next Cine Lovers.